What's going on, party people? It is your boy Coop, and we are checking out the Cold Art Masterwork. And look at that stability, look at that range. Go slap your grandma. This weapon is nasty. Guys, hide your kids, hide your wife, because we're killing everybody up in here. The Cold Heart has made its epic return. Longest Winter, that is the perk that you, it's the only one you need to know about, okay? Which is the one where the longer you stay on a target, the more damage it does. And this is dropped from enemies, the highest level enemies within strikes. So, luckily, I was able to get some footage because for some reason, whenever I went to mine, it would no longer let me see... Um, see the drop location, which I thought was really strange, uh, and I guess it's because once you have it applied, you just can't look at it anymore. I'm not 100% there, but the point is, guys, it's awesome. The cold heart is really, really out of control right now. The longest winter perk just got a buff, so it activates quicker, which, guys, come on. That that was the only thing holding this thing back, really, was having to stay on target so, so long before it would just kick in. So, I do struggle quite a bit with this weapon in the beginning of this match because it feels real, real weird. I don't know what the difference is between this and an auto rifle as far as staying on target and how that feels, but it just feels... I, I don't know, dude. It feels strange. It feels like I'm trying to balance a broomstick. It just... It's just weird, but you'll get used to it after a little while, and I, after like a match, I was started doing pretty well. Even towards the end of this match, I started um, started melting people, and you can see the difference in the times that I'm shooting people whenever I strafe off of the target, how that time to kill just looks kind of normal, like a normal time to kill, and then when I don't, when I'm able to stay on target, it's like they just disappear. It is literally like you melt people. So it kind of got me hyped about this weapon. I'm going to really try to uh, put some time in and get used to playing with only this weapon in the Crucible for a while. Because it seems like there's a skill ceiling for this weapon that most weapons don't have. Most weapons, you know, you got the Antio. Yes, you, have, you can be a skilled player and that will help you. But I'm just saying that feels, you put it in your hands, it feels good right then off the bat. You're, you're not really going to be improving a whole lot. Maybe you will. Maybe you like understand some range things. But the Antio, um, Uriel's Gift, any of those things, I guess there is a little bit of a skill ceiling for Vigilance Wing. Um, I know that some of my buddies just can't seem to play with it, but I would say it's a very, very low skill ceiling. This weapon seems like it has a very high skill ceiling, where the more you play with it, the more you're going to get used to the, the exact range that this weapon has. You're going to get used to how you, you can't really be jumping around with this weapon because you have to keep that beam on target all of the time. That's extremely, extremely important. And also there is the, the disadvantage of when guys are running. If they're really mobile, you know, um, running around corners and stuff, it's going to... It's going to kind of suck for this because the, the bulk of your damage comes in at the back half. So hitting them a couple times before they go around a corner is not the same as getting one shot on them with the Vigilance Wing and then you go have to just shoot them one more time and then they're dead. It's not like that with this weapon. You get them for the front half, you got to start that front half damage over again, if that, if that makes sense. But overall, guys, I think this weapon is like flying under the radar. The way it would melt people sometimes is making me want to play with it, you know, all the time now. Just for a little while, and I'm, I don't know if it's going to be um, the meta. I, when I made a, my review of the Crimson, I said I doubt it was going to be the meta. And I just don't think it is. Um, I think some people will use it, but I think it has... It's not that it has setbacks, it's that the other weapons are just so strong. And they have a range benefit that I wouldn't see... Um, any reason to trade off. For some reason, this weapon is in its own category that I really that I really am not 100% what that category is. It's really good, it has a great TTK, but it feels so damn weird. You guys just have to play with it in the Crucible. Like, I know if you fighting Kallus, I didn't show any footage of, you know, Kallus or the Raid because everyone already knows that trick, right? But with PvP, I feel like not a lot of people are using the Coldheart. I think everybody in this match was looking at me like, what the f 
What is this guy doing? Does he know it's his crucible? Look, <laughs> we got a PvE nerd in here. Let's go smoking. And uh, I was doing pretty good. In fact, we absolutely wrecked these guys. I mean, as you can see, that was kind of a kind of a spanking there. So guys, some of the drawbacks to this weapon are going to be, well, I don't know if hip fire is a drawback, but there's something weird happening. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because the weapon, look how it like centers in the screen like that. That's weird. Like it's like, well, am I holding that under my chin? Is that, is that where that weapon is? It just, I don't know what it is guys, but it's just, it, it's hard to keep it down sides. It's how to keep, keep it aimed on the target. And dude, when you get shot, bro, it, you feel like you're riding a buffalo, okay? You're riding a buffalo through a stream. You got a bunch of Indians chasing or shooting arrows. It's out of control. And that's what that feels like every time you get shot. So I don't know exactly what you could do to reduce that uh, the flinch effect for that, but it is significant, and you really need to stay on target. Now, right here, I'm just kind of showing you the limitations of this thing's range. Now, any auto rifle isn't going to be doing anything from this range either. So some people may be like, "Coop, of course, duh." But I don't want some people. They're just thinking, "Oh, it's a laser, so it's just going to go forever," you know, because it has that beam effect. And testing that range did uh, did cost me a little bit there. <laughs> but either way, guys. The range, I don't say it's really a drawback because it has a really good effective range, um, the same as any auto rifle really would. So, but I would say the the aiming is weird. So I'm putting that as a drawback. Maybe that's just I need to get used to playing with it a little bit more, which I probably do. But I really am liking it so far. In fact, it's it's quickly becoming um, one of my favorite weapons. Just making this video on it, I hadn't really played with it too much and I was like okay every time I get a masterwork I go ahead and make a video on it and this one just so happened to be shockingly good like shockingly good so I think you guys need to try this out I'm gonna go check out um, and see if I can find the exact time to kill what the TTK is for this weapon if there's like some data on there that they like listed what all the TTK for every weapon is I'm sure there's some nerd out there who's like sitting there, he has on Spider-Man underwear, you know, he gets on like a white t-shirt, big old belly, like hanging out, just sitting there, like in his mom's basement, checking out stats, going on like Destiny, he's data diving through the Destiny folders or whatever, that guy, he's probably done a service um, for all of us, so I'm not, I don't know why I'm even hating on this guy, because I'm trying to get some information that he dug out for me, and these poor two dudes, man, they just, they had no idea, they had no idea, man, they just, they just got it, they ate it. But guys, I would say definitely 100% go try this out. And once again, the way to get this um, masterwork is through strikes, the bosses. So um, heroic strikes are where the majority of people have gotten this. And dude, I like, do you see that flinch? I looked at the fucking ceiling <laughs> when I got hit with that tether. Um, but some some guys I know have been getting it from the, the Nightfall. So... I just feel like heroics are just a little faster. You kind of you're in a playlist. You don't gotta find a team. You just can keep on, you know, going in and doing as many as you want. So that is the way I would get this, guys. Um, and again, it's stability and reload speed are going to be your perks. It's pretty easy to unlock when you know just kill some bad guys. But guys, 100%. I say try this out. It is awesome. I, I can't really give it a rating yet because I don't feel like I'm good enough with the weapon to properly say, you know, it's a 10 out of 10, it's an 8 out of 10. I feel like I need to improve with this weapon a little bit because I could see where I was not really good enough to review the weapon. If that, I know that sounds weird and no other weapon in the game would I be saying that about. But this one seems like you got to get used to it. you gotta got to change the way you play the game. That was real dumb, dude. Dude, this guy's like working for Al-Qaeda, dude, like suicide bombing. But you got to change the way you play the game in order to use the cold heart a little bit. Some people may have no problem with that because, you know, maybe they don't have um, a bunch of, you know, set in their ways, set in stone um, traits that they use during uh, Crucible. But for a lot of people who have been playing Crucible for a while, you kind of have the things that you do and you've learned to do those well and kind of mastered those. So the cold heart kind of takes you, you know, says, no, you got you to do things a little bit different. Anyways, guys, that is my take on it. I would love to know what y'all think about this weapon. Um, if you want to like put a drop down in the comments where you got your weapon drop, because I would like to uh, you know just leave a link down there, or not a link, but a 
put a poll down in the bottom so people can see okay people are getting this from this location but as far as we know from reddit from people that i know for myself it has been dropping from heroic strikes and the nightfall and those are the only two places if it has dropped in a regular strike yeah dude for sure let me know anyways guys that is going to be all for me peace i'll see y'all next time Thank you.